Mama, tutasi mama zote Salini ndugu na dada ili sadaka yangu na yenu ikubalike kwa mungu baba mwenyezi Wana kukia sadaka mikononi mwaku Kwa sifa na mtubuku wa jina lana Tuombe Ibuana tunamuombea huyu mtumishi wako jono geto katika siku hii ya mazishi yake Tunapo kutolea sadaka hii kwa ajili yake Na kama alikuwa na madoa ya dhambi Awa alichafuliwa na makosa ya kibinadamu Umusame kwa wema wako na kuyafuta Tunaomba hayo kwenjea bwana wetu Yesu Christu mwanao Anayeishi na kutawala nawe katika umoja roo mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele Buwana awe nani Awe pia nawe Inuini mioyo Tumushukuru bwana mungu wetu. Nilema na haki. Kweli nilema na haki tukushukuru daima na popote bwana baba mwema mungu mwenyezu wa milele. Kwa njia ya kristu bwana wetu. Sisi tumepata kuwake tumaini la ufufuko. Na tunasikitika kwa sababu tunajua kwamba lazima tutakufa. 
lakini tunatulizwa kwa kuwa alituahidia uzima wa milele e bwana uzima wa waamini wako hauondolewi ila unageuzwa tu na hayo makao ya hapa duniani yakisha bomolewa tunapata makao ya milele mbinguni kwa hiyo sisi pamoja na majeshi yote ya malaika wa mbinguni tuwaimba wimbo wa utukufu wako tukisema bila mwisho na kweli um mtakatifu na chemichemi ya utakatifu wote tunakusihi uzitakaza kwa nguvu ya roho wako dhabihu hizi ili ziwe kwetu mwili na damu ya bwana wetu Yesu Kristo yeye alipojitoa kwa hiari yake ateswe alitoa mkati akakushukuru akaumega akawapa wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mle nyote huu ndio mwili wangu utakaotolewa kwa ajili yenu Vivyo hivyo baada ya kula akatoa kikombe akakushukuru tena akawapa wafuasi wake akisema tuaeni mwenye nyote hiki ndicho kikombe cha damu yangu damu ya gano jipya la milili itakayo mwagika kwa ajili yenu na kwa ajili ya wengi kwa maendeleo ya dhambi fanyeni hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu umbo la imani hiyo e bwana tunapokumbuka kufa na kufufuka kwake mwanao tunakutolea mkate wa uzima na kikombe cha uokovu na tunakushukuru kwa kuwa umetujalia tusimame mbele yako na kukutumikia tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu roho mtakatifu atufanye tuwe jamaa moja sisi tunao shiriki mwili na damu ya Kristo e bwana ulikumbuka kanisa lako popote duniani 
utakamilisha katika upendo sisi pamoja na baba mtakatifu wetu Francis na askofu wetu Joseph na watumishi wako wote mkumbuke mtumishi wako John Obiero Ogeto waliye mita kwako kutoka dunia hii kwa kuwa kwa batizo alishiriki kifo cha Kristu umjalia shiriki pia ufuko wake wakumbuke pia ndugu zetu waliofariki dunia wakiwa na tumaini la ufuko wakumbuke na marehemu wote wapokee kwenye nuru ya uso wako tunakuomba utorumie si zote ili kushiriki uzima milele na kukusifu na kutukuza pamoja na Maria Bikira mwenye heri mama wa Mungu mitume wenye heri na watakatifu wote waliokupendeza tangu kale tunakuomba hayo kwa njia ya kwa njia ya manao Yesu Kristo kwa njia yake pamoja naye na ndani yake wewe Mungu Baba Mwenyezi katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu unapata heshima yote kufu milele na milele amina basi na sasa kwa pamoja tusali ile sala aliyotufundisha bwana wetu Yesu Kristo tukisema baba yetu uliye mbinguni jina lako litukuswe ufalme wako ufike utakalo lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkato wetu wa kila siku tusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi wale wetuosea usitutie katika shawishi kwa rabbi tuokoe maovuni hii bwana tunakuomba utuepoe katika maovu yote utujalie kwa wema amani maishani mwetu utuepushe daima na dhambi kwa huruma yako tusivadhaishwe na jambo lolote ila tutungojee kwa matumaini kurudi kwake mkombozi wetu Yesu Kristo kwa ufalme wako na nguvu na utukufu hata milele amina bwana Yesu Kristo aliyewaambia mitume wako nasi unatuambia sasa na waachieni amani na wapeni amani yangu usistazame dhambi zetu ila tu imani ya kanisa lako upende kulijalia amani na umoja kama yalivyo mapenzi yako unayeishi na kutawala daima na milele amani ya bwana iwe daima nanyi basi kwa ishara amani kwa kila mmoja wetu Oh, 
Basi na huyu ndiye mwana kondoo wa Mungu ambaye dhambi za dunia. Heri sisi tuliyoalikwa kwenye karamu ya Mwana. Yesu Kristo Rabbi mokoze. Mwana sasa ni uja kwangu. Lakini sema neno moja tu. Na roho ya Sara yo otoliwa onontolie nyale ko munyombuya mandi ababonsabere maraiko no manchonko abocha satali anyasa sara yo wancha na manyire nganyoro mutatibo yeso inde na manyinga yenwe ekyagera ebeka wateba bo Nanchira nenko ya neyo nsara yo weke ya Sawa nengu eteba nchi no musali omole u Tingwe nile chio konyorumu vere na manyinga yeso Okowe ibebi ane Omu unguru tingwe nile tingo so emu ane Neo tebe ngane ya moyo kano moyo nengo wene Sara yo weitia Sao nengwe chiano kove vivi ane vio nsie vina kora kia wara vivi ya kove vivi Na inu mia kegima kurvono tingu ba usa nyasao nukwe rama Vere sara yogo sasima Sinyasao manenone Na igora sata ligoro Neture kira sole ngo sasima nde Na wanchire nengkola yonsi Ninko ligetino wekana Oicha sende Oi chebano nchuro ankoromu ya
simamia hivyo vile tulivyo wenye tumekaa tusimame kwa sala ya mwisho I bwana Mungu mwenyezi tunakuomba umjalie mtumishi wako John Ogeto aliyefariki dunia atakazwe na sadaka hii na kuondolewa dhambi apate furaha ya milele tunaomba hayo kwa njia bwana wetu Yesu Kristo mwanao na yeyeshi na kutawala nawe katika umoja wa Roho Mtakatifu Mungu daima na milele. Amen. Bwana awe nanyi. Awabariki Mungu mwenyezi, Baba na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Tubaki na amani ya Kristo. Hamjambo Hamjambo Naomba tafadhali angalia mwenzako na mpe tabasamu 
na mwambie shukrani kwa Dr. Ogeto. Tafadhali, ongea na mwenzako. Lazima mpe tabasamu sababu alikuwa ni baba yetu mtu wa heshima kuu. Kwa hivyo Father Victor, Father Masese uh, ametupatia dakika kama tano kuongea na wili matatu alafu uh, tutaambiwa vitaelekea kwa hivyo tutaanza na kuongea na wili matatu kwa watu watatu on behalf of CWA uh, Don Bosco I want to request Rose to come and then in the meantime I want to also ask the CMA uh, from Don Bosco to please come and stand with me here we shall be doing uh, just one chorus for our hero as we see him off and then I'll be asking Mr. CEO to uh, give us eulogy and then we shall give it back to Father Victor uh, CMA Rose Tafadali I've known your entire family and my small children were very very small so we have grown all of us together when I heard about our late father here I was saddened. It's one of the sad news I have received in a long, long time. And I'm very sorry for the loss. We are from the Don Bosco uh, family in Upper Hill, Nairobi. And we have come here. We are very many, but except the few of us who have come to represent them, we have come to condone with the family, we have come to say sorry, and we have come to also be with the rest of the family here to escort our Baba home. I don't really have much to say, other than to say very, very sorry. and Baba may you rest in eternal peace. Amen. So we truly come here from our hearts, not just because he's a CMA member, but because he touched most of us, and truly so. So as is a tradition, we normally do our song for the hero, uh, the CMA anthem, and we shall just do one chorus, one stanza story, then we shall leave it there. Lindem, 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 toto wako. Lindem, lindem, toto wako. Linzi wape Maria, mema mengi yako. Toto wako Lindem, lindem, lindem Toto wako Lindem, lindem Toto wako Lindem, lindem, lindem Toto wako Lindem, lindem Toto wako as for our hero, my very own Dr. Ogeto, allow me, Father Vika Jamro, to call upon uh, CEO to do for us the eulogy before I invite engineer to give us our next course of action. Then I'll give it back to you, Father. I shall read the eulogy of uh, Dr. Tari. John Mabiro Ogeto was born on 12th July. 1947 to the late Mr. Nathan Ogeto and Mrs. Tabitha Mora at Gesima, Teroka, Kisi County. He was the second of eight children. As a child, he was a bright and outgoing child full of energy. He joined Nakomo Primary School in 1956 
1959, then later joined Itibo Intermediate School from 1960 to 1963. As expected, he excelled in the KPE, getting three A's. He later joined Kisi High School in 1964 to 1967 to complete his A level where he was known for his passion in sports and excellence in academics, especially in the sciences. In 1968 to 69, John John Kenyatta College, what is now known as Kenyatta University, before receiving a scholarship to study pharmacy in Bradford University in the UK from 1970 to 73. He returned to Kenya where he became a NPS registered pharmacist and in 1957, 1975 to 77, pursued and received a Master of Science in Pharmacy from the University of Nairobi. Daktari, as many fondly referred to him, joined the University of Nairobi in 1975 as a tutorial fellow in the Department of Pharmacy. Being one of the faculty founders, he participated in the development of the syllabi for Bachelor of uh, Pharmacy, Pharmaceutical and Medicinal Chemistry. In 1977, he became a lecturer in the Department of Pharmacy and Head of Pharmaceutical Chemistry. From 1988 to his retirement in 2007, he became a senior lecturer in the Division of Pharmaceutical Chemistry and Chairman, Department of Pharmacy. Later, he became a professor in the Department of Pharmacy. In his additional capacity, John was also a consultant drug analyst for the Ministry of Health and this involved coordinating quality control of drugs both in public and private institutions, manufacturing and retail concerns in Kenya. He was appointed a member of Committee for Drug Registration uh, in brackets, veterinary, which involved reviewing application for drug registration and advising the Pharmacy and Poisons Board on whether to register the drug or not with a view of streamlining their relevancy and use. He was at first a member and then later the chairman of Committee of Drug Registration of the Pharmacy and Poisons Board. This role involved organizing and presiding over the committees that approve the registration of drugs used in human and practice with a view of streamlining their relevancy and use, in addition to advising on the criteria for drug registration in Kenya. He was also a member of Kenyatta National Hospital Technical Drug Evaluation Committee. In collaboration with other industry experts and professors, he undertook several research projects, the findings of which were published in, both sev in several local and international publications and journals, which significantly contributed to his profession and industry. He received several awards for his contributions to the profession, including in 1990 with the Belgian government to invest to investigate quality control of drugs in Kenyan market. In 1987 with the Japanese government, ethnopharmacognosy and unused medicinal resources in Kenya. 1986 with the Wellcome Foundation, study of deposition of halofantrin, a new antimalarial in humans. National Council of Sciences and Technology, the Chemical and Pharmacological Investigation of Alkaloids in Fagara Species in Kenya. 1978, with the Dean's Committee of the University of Nairobi, Chemical and Phytochemical Investigation of Clematis Hirsuta, a local hub, with a view of exploiting the plant for medicinal purposes. 1975, still with the Dean's Committee, Chemical and Pharmacological Investigation of Stripeness, Henengzi, Muteta, with a view of exploiting the plant for medicinal purposes. British Technical Aid Award uh, to study the Bachelor of Pharmacy, University of Bradford in the UK. John was deeply loved and cared for by his mother and father. Being the second of eight children, they invested in his education and family life. He was the brother to seven siblings whom he supported in various ways to 
to attain their education ambitions. John met the love of his life and best friend, Anne Gemma Boucheri, in 1968. While attending his studies at Kenyatta College, while attending his studies at Kenyatta College, he proposed to her in 1969 before leaving for further studies in the UK. On his return, the couple made their marital vows on 15th December 1973 at Nabururu Mission, Nalira County. Daktari's pride and joy were his three children, namely Veronica, Pantaleo, and Angela. Being an educator, he valued education. Therefore, he ensured that all around him, especially his children, received the best education and challenged them to achieve their full potential. They were his greatest investment. Being a strong pillar and dedicated leader of the family, he was happy to marry off his daughters, Veronica to Abdel Hafid Chokech and Angie to Bob Asio. As a grandfather of seven, namely Billy, Sarah, Sophia, Irene, Adam, Ryan, and Maria, he was a doting and loving Sokoro and would spend a lot of his time singing, dancing, and playing with them, encouraging them to reach for the stars and beyond. They adored and loved him dearly. Daktari was the life of the party, with his jokes and stories that would leave his friends and family in stitches. He loved to dance and would be found on the dance floor at any party or ceremony he attended. Daktari was born and raised as an SDA. On marrying his wife in 1973, he began attending the Catholic Church at Holy Family Basilica, Nairobi. In 1990, Daktari fully converted to a Catholic and was welcomed into the faith at the Shrine of Mary Help of Christians, Upper Hill. As a Catholic, he undertook the pilgrimage to Jerusalem so as to become closer to the experiences of Jesus. He believed that this would help him to develop spiritually and become closer to God. This was indeed the case. As a Christian, he never held back when God called him to serve. Dr. Tari was a founding member of the uh, CMA, Shrine of Mary Help of Christians, a group formed to serve the church and provide the much needed moral role models to the youth. The group continues to grow from strength to strength. Dr. Tari also joined the Justice and Peace Group at Shrine of, uh, Shrine of Mary Help of Christians, where he served for six years. Many are called to serve, but only few respond. He went over and above. Uh, he went over above and walked with various student priests, inviting them to his home for a meal and a conversation, giving them a father figure whom they could lean on. He would attend daily mass at Regina Chelly Catholic Church, where he was an active member and supported in the construction of the new church. He was known for his passion and tireless dedication in serving the Lord. He loved God. He was a man of God. He worked for God until his last days. His commitment to serve God even in his greatest pain remains one of the most profound demonstrations of his service to the work of the church and to God as his faithful servant. In July 2022, Dr. Tari was diagnosed with usual interstitial pneumonia a lung autoimmune disease. The best doctors, nurses, and caregivers worked tirelessly with the family so as to try and prolong Dr. Tari's life, but God saw otherwise. The Nairobi Hospital Chaplain, Father Paul Mboga, would visit Dr. Tari to bless him weekly and offer him the Holy Eucharist. On 11th October, Father was able to give Dr. Tari his final right as he took his last breath surrounded by his wife and three children. Daddy, you will live in our hearts forever. You have given us gifts that are more precious than anything in this world. We love you. Go away, Daddy, and know that your legacy will live on for years to come. Philippians chapter 2, verse 4. Let each of you look not only to his own interest, but also to the interests of others. First Peter chapter 3, verse 8. Finally, all of 
of you have unity of mind, sympathy, brotherly love, a tender heart, and a humble mind. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 19 For though I am free from all, I have made myself a servant to all, that I might win more of them. Asantini. Thank you very much. Yes, I appreciate uh, Bob. Tumpigia makofi tafadhali. Ile upande ingine ni kama hakuna makofi. Tayari kijiji jetu cha Mwata. Tumekuwa na daktari tangu aje hapa miaka ya 90. Amekaa nasi vema. Daktari amekuwa mkarimu. Na jirani mwema. Mimi ni jirani yake. Sichaona tuki pengine tukikosana kwa njia yoyote ilikuwa ni ku habari ya kusikitisha kwamba daktari ameaga dunia wakati huu lakini hata wewe umesomea wasifu wake amekuwa ndani ya kanisa kabisa hata mchanga ametoa kwa kanisa letu la Nyameuru nasema ni shukurani kwa Mungu na mama mjana ambaye amebaki mama Ann ako kwa kanisa tunamwambia ashikirie familia kutoka hapo kwenda mbele na maisha yaendelee amekuwa ni muhimiru muhimu kwa kanisa letu uh, Paris yetu ya Suneka na ndio maana umeona siku imekuwa siku njema na namna hii hivyo sitakuwa na mengi mi namwambia mema uh, tunajua kwamba aendapo na sisi tutaenda huko asanteni sana i want to I appreciate that you've been very patient those of us who came very early we want to apologize that we came late and because of that we had the challenge of finishing the program early to avoid rain so some of you would have had a chance to speak but because of the timing we had to eliminate all the speeches to enable us to finish before it is late before the rains come number two I want to thank all of us who have taken part in this program, starting from our presiding priests. Thank you. God bless you as your minister. And the choir. And all of us who attended this program. And for the family for being here to wait as we speak and say many things. We have two sessions. One, those of us I want to appreciate also, uh, there are two people I would like to appreciate because they are important. May I appreciate our mother, Mongina Sabara Ngayale. Mongina Sabara Ngayale, the mother of John. There are many, the mother of John who is here, the younger mother of John. Where are you? Mongina Ngayale. Mongina Nchua. I uh, also want to appreciate Karara, Yure Gaiga, Papa, Mama Bob, please come. These are our parents, we want to appreciate them. Just come. Karayito, Oyomo, Yura. These two mothers, I want to appreciate them because of their position. And because they are important, I want them to say hi, please. Na inje na wakwa ni dia wageni watagtari ujue romu ana na choni wairebe bia bia mana asogo chapa na tagtari orali kwa nanto kwa tikiende na sasa na amai to kora rakua e mwana ana tika na sasa ya kwa baremu kure nda bana na ba chukuru tu abaga ni dia maya Tiga nyasa sabab seni mungkin si pemain arul lecik ingkau ingkau ini cincin sek mau kau ira nama ira nabi yang biar mon. God is good and all the time. Asante ni sana kunipa nafasi hi kuinge ama cache. Yangu ni kusema asante sana kwa mnyezi mungu kwa maisha ya korera wangu Dr. John Ongeto Nimesema tu kumwogopa Mungu na kumpenda Mungu inakupeleka mbali sana katika maisha yako 
Vile niliona Dr. Ogeto alipenda watu. Wakati kijana wangu Bob aliwaa Angela, sikuamini ukarimu wake. Alituleta pamoja kama familia. Bob baba yake alikuwa amefariki miaka mingi zilizopita. Kwa hivyo wao alikuwa kama baba ya Bob. Na kwa hayo nashukuru Mungu. Hata mama Ogeto alikuwa na upendo. Na walimu watoto vizuri. Mimi ni mabahati sana. Nashukuru Mungu. Na ningeomba tu Mwenyezi Mungu amweke mahali pema peponi. Najua amepumzika. Asante. Asante sana. We also give that I'm sorry to appreciate another two people. What we have only our our niece who is the women representative from home where our brother John was born honorable please come I just want you to be appreciated for being here we didn't have the chance that we could speak thank you uncle uh, father uh, Apollinarius Masese and uh, our guest father who has come from uh, Nairobi, the Kuala Mamas today is a very sad day for us uh, as a family we have lost one of the most brilliant men that God gave us from the time he died we have interacted we have known how much uh, uh, Daktari was our family specifically to our family want to say pole sana to everybody who has come here I also want to say to my auntie Anne we know you are the most hit and your children may the Lord take care of you as you uh, uh, accept the new situation. Finally, abantu ba minda. Ekero na na asogeta go chomochi oyo. Eto kuru de miyenda family, de lacha family. Yana na rata abantu ba ncha ine san. Ba ncha ine mo. Na abantu agwa na miyenda. Na bara. Tima tina mbate na nega dio kaviga basiliu. This, this is the larger family. They have not all stood. There are so many I have seen, even some the other side. Thank you for accompanying Mama Anne and the children as we send off our uncle. Thank you. You can sit down. Masiwesi kusahau. Kwa sababu wa watu wako wa metoka wa nyamira, nataka ni wa shukuru sana. Kwa sababu, mimi nijikuwa women rep, hira muura iliopita, na pia wakawama ni vizuri, wanipatie muende mara ya piri, kwa hivyo, wako na imani, ya kwamba nitafanya kasi. Naomba mungu ende, mungu wanipatie hiyo hekima ya kufanya kasi. Nipo kuwa ni nakucha Hapa maali tuko nukisi county Nijua nikea na my counterpart Women rep Anaitua Donya Toto Haka niambia nikifika hapa Niseme pole Na pia haka nipatia pole yake Nipatia mama Anne Kwa hivyo tukimalisa I will give her 10,000 donation Asanti Nikiwenda nende salami Asante sana. Tuashukuru. We don't have, I would have loved to call everybody, those who came, but because of time, they have represented all of us. But I want to encourage us that we may not have opportunity to speak every time. Sometimes. Asina ke, tagutu isana twins. Nakini indaga na nere ga to ukuriye. Kano tu wakuriye. To ukuriye na saa tu sisintu ga na twins. Mwana mwendicho isi uru wa Amerika wanyari. 
in Chiangoga. Uh, this is John's youngest sister. She came all the way from U.S. and the husband. Please come forward, Mokoyon. I just want you to be appreciated that just because you travel all this much to see your brother, your brother-in-law, uh, buried, please come so that we know you have traveled a lot. I also know my others who have come, but this has. She's the youngest, and I want her to be appreciated that she came. This is the last one. Good evening, everybody. My name is Joyce Sarara. This is my husband. We live in America. We were here in June. We went back again. We have come again. We have come again to say bye to my brother. I know it's painful, but we live in God's hands. Thanks for coming. I'm Jambo. Mimi naitwa Nathan Sarara. Kama bila Joyce amesema tulikuwa hapa mwezi wa June na tukapata nafasi ya ku visit and we had um, a wonderful time and uh, we didn't know that that was going to be the last time that we are going to see him alive. We know that death, as uh, the priests have preached, is a sleep. A time is coming when the Lord will come, and when that trumpet is sounds, those who have uh, rested will be raised, and we will meet together to rejoice and to go to heaven where we will live for eternity. Uh, my in-law, uh, Anne, and uh, the children, we are still praying for you. And uh, if there is anything that we can do, we will be willing to do that. Asante sana. Asante sana. May all the siblings of John come for photo. Please come. Uh, okay, let me put it this year. When I say siblings, I, I go down... Brothers, we are brothers, but siblings is more specific. Please come. Accompany your, your wife, accompany your sister, sorry, your, your, your husband. Please come quickly. Stand next. There's no speech, just a photo. Just a photo, please. Just move. Make a small cough so that you can be seen. Are you? Look at the camera. So as I was saying, we're going to break now. Another family will be proceeding to the burial site. The rest of us will remain that we will have a meal provided for us. The love for each one of us. May God bless you. Zote ni wageni. Lakini mimi siyo mugeni sana ni mugeni kwa misahe. Ningependa our two fathers who worked more with John to say something. So Father Bernard, lafu tamu karibisha uyu. Ningependa kuchukua fulsa hii kwanza. Sio kusema pole kwa mama Ann lakini kusema asante sana mama Ann zawadi ambayo umetoa kwake Mwenyezi Mungu ni zawadi ya kipekee It so happens in life we get awards we receive rewards tunapata zawadi And we also give out gifts to other people, especially when they, they celebrate some important event in their life. And this is one of the events in life that Mama Anne 
you have given back. The Lord gave you, the Lord who gave you again has requested back that gift. And as you give it, don't give it with a heart of sorrow, but to give it with a heart of joy. Ingependa kwa shukuru wote wa Kristo wa Don Bosco hapa hiyo ambao wako hapa na ningependa kuwashukuru wote ambao wametoka sehemu mbalimbali kuja kufariji kufariji familia ya mama Anne familia ya John Obiarogeto ambaye Mungu amemuita kwake ningependa kuwashukuru wote mimi nilikuwa Tanzania na niliposikia kuwa eh, nimekuwa nikimuita mzee mara kwa mara nikiwa na maandikia mama ujumbe na mmuuza mzao maendeleaje na mara ya mwisho nilipo muuliza mzao maendeleaje alichukua muda sana kujibu ujumbe alichukua siku moja akajibu kesho yake akiniambia it is so sad that god has loved him more and he has taken back mze to himself praised be the name of the lord asad sana mam na mungu akubariki ningependa kuchukua fursa hii kumpa father george ambaye ni mlezi mlezi wangu katika maisha yangu ya kitawa na ye atusungumzie tumsifu yesu kristo Today I have come again with the Philadelphia missionaries to express our deep love and affection to the Gate of Family in particular to Mama Anne who has been and who is still a member of the Philadelphia missionaries for many many years and she has been with us joining with us and I know for sure as I told you when I was at Karen uh, narrating an episode here Dr. Ageto was behind like a shadow for all that Mama Anne is for the Philadelphia family I came to know Dr. Ageto when I was the parish priest at Don Bosco Upper Hill from 2005 to 2008 and it was great to know such a wonderful personality a courageous person, a gentle, humble person, a person of great wisdom. And I always appreciated Dr. Tari in my life. Uh, and later, whenever we met, we shared our pleasantries. And I thank the Lord for the life that he lived. And there is one phrase, or one, not one sentence I found in, uh, in the eulogy, which I would like to repeat to you as something that, that is important for all of us. That is this about when he says about his faith. He says, he was a man of God. He worked for God until his last days. His commitment to serve God, even in his greatest pain, remains one of the most profound demonstrations of his service to the work of the church and to God as his faithful servant. May John rest in peace. May the good Lord whom he loved so much in his life reward him. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and perpetual light shine upon him. And may he rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>